Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. You're here with Rand Lefebvre, the wise nose Drax Craven, when we are in the Charleston Cave looking for whatever is causing the Night Stalkers to be able to go invisible and see what connection it has to the uh -oh. Nightkin's schizophrenia. Bad guys dealt with. The big problem with invisible enemies is that you never know when to stop punching. Nightkin. Chewed Stealth Boy? Oh, baby! What the fuck is this thing? Oh, baby. It's just a big old hammer. Alright, cool. Hey, Lily, you want a big old hammer? Oh, my God. It looks like Oh, baby is better than Leo. Naughty children run from the punishment, but we'll find Uh, I got some questions for you. curious little munchkin, aren't you? What do you want to know? Tell me about yourself. Oh, someone wants to hear Grandma's stories. What would you like to hear, Pumpkin? Who is Leo? Leo's a very bad man, Pumpkin. Yes, you are, Leo. Don't try to deny it. He tells me to do things. Terrible. And sometimes the medicine isn't enough to keep him quiet. So, he's a voice in your head. You shouldn't say things like that where Leo can hear you, dearie. He doesn't like it. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, I have an insane grandma following me around. Um, where are you from? I grew up in Vault 17. I never even saw the sun until I was 75 years old. That was when super mutants raided the vault and carried a lot of us home. Yes, Leo, I'm getting to that part. They made me one of them, and they put me to work in an army that was going to conquer California. You were a soldier? A spy, sometimes an assassin. I killed a lot of folks for the master. Yes, Leo, you helped too. Who was the master? Oh, he was a nasty man, dearie. You don't want to know about him. He was the one who made that super mutant army I told you about. Where did you get that sword? This old thing? Oh, I scavenged it off a wreck and clan. Leo showed me how to make it all ready for chopping. Didn't you, Leo? Okay. Okay. Yeah, in case you can't tell, uh, the giant blade she uses in combat is um, a vertebird uh, blade. Yeah, so that's a thing. Bad guys dealt with. I just, I just love Lily so much. Don't say those kinds of things around Leo. When Leo can hear you, he doesn't like it. Okay. Ho, ho, ho. What do we have here? Post-war audio log. Looks like someone ended up in an awful situation. Oh yeah, buddy. I'm certain all this purified water and banana yucca will help you survive the interminable darkness. All right. Guess who I saw today? So the Reds finally hit us, just like I always said they would. Vegas is still there, as far as I know, but that probably won't last long. Didn't get accepted into one of the vaults, so I did the next best thing and had this place built. Got massive debts, but who cares now? <laughs> That's every man for himself now. Had to take care of the Paulson boy since he knew about this place. These supplies are for me and nobody else. There's a woman and her daughter up in one of the rooms of the lodge. Might go pay him a visit tomorrow. A man's got needs. What a piece of shit. Well, as near as I can tell, he's dead. And I'm glad. Holy shit, fuck that guy. A oh, man's got needs. Oh my god. You rapey pile of trash. 
Well, I didn't see any corpses in there, so you probably didn't make it out alive. At least that's what I'm going to keep telling myself. And even so, it was over 200 years ago. So, you know, he's definitely dead by now. Ugh. Alright, so I found this chewed up stealth boy. Which the Night Stalkers may have been using to make the mutation thingy happen? I don't know. We won't know until we talk to the doc about it. I'm not a doctor. I might have a hundred science, but I'm not a doctor. Oh shit. I am a doctor. Just not a medical doctor. I've only got like a 65 in medicine or something. It's not great. That's what I'm saying. Is there something else I can do for you? Got you the thingy. Hmm. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutations so rapidly. More importantly, this explains why my research into this group of Night Stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the Nightkin. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. Uh, why Lily and not some other Nightkin? Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks, and she still insists on helping me. She's a good person like that. What are the risks of the experiment? Possibly immediate and permanent mental damage. There's a reason the Stealth Boy Mark II has never got beyond the prototype stage. Lily already has a pre-existing condition, and the experiment will likely make things worse for her. I'll talk to her about it then. I'll be waiting. Now, Lily, are you sure you want to do this? My, but that lucky 38 is a large building. And so fancy. Do you still want to help Dr. Henry run his experiment? Of course, dearie. I know it's dangerous, but it'll all turn out for the best. You'll see. I'll go to him now. It would be rude to keep him waiting. All right. Whatever you say, Lily. Wait. I'm helping Dr. Henry with Shit. Experiment. Here's hoping Oh Baby doesn't disappear into the aether. The equipment is hooked up and ready. Go ahead. Very well. Please stand back. I don't want any erroneous readings. You're welcome to stay and observe if you want, though. Just gonna hide behind the medical screen here. All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Turning it on. Feels strange. Strange, but good. Interesting. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rat scorpion. Lily, smash! Yeah! How are those oh, leaders? God. Calamity? Stealth field is unstable and scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave activity is zero, but that can't possibly be right. Gamma wave activity is zero. That can't be right. Must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. Oh, I like having it on. I'll get back to you on that in a moment, once I've analyzed the results. Well, well, what? Congratulations on oh, the Mark II prototype functional doctor. Now, just hand it over and we'll be on our way. Uh, hi, Keen. Is perfectly reasonable. Give us the stealth boy specs and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides. All right. Hold the phone. Now give it to me. What you do in this wasteland affects all the means here, but I bet you didn't think about that, did you? The Mark II is more dangerous. You're causing a... You're rocking the boat super hard. You don't know what the fuck you're dealing with. You need to calm the fuck down. No, I didn't. Not until now, anyway. Very well, human. You've made your point, And I withdraw my request. Yeah. That's what I thought. What's up, Doc? Nice work with the Nightkin. I've never seen anyone able to talk their kind out of anything once they had their mind set to it. I got a lot of useful data from the experiment, and am a lot closer to a cure than before. 
It's occurred to me that this brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. However, if Lily were to continue to wear the prototype... You could use the neuropeptide stimulators on a night soccer brain. Results should be similar to a live brain. That's brilliant. Simple yet elegant. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Hey, what can I say? I'm Mr. Fix-It. And this is why you put science to 100 as immediately as possible. Oh good, oh baby didn't disappear into the aether. That being said, I'm gonna really- Who do you think is cuter? Dr. Klein or Dr. Boros? Ah fuck, you picked the two worst ones. Leo thinks there will be lots more chopping to do now that Caesar is dead. I do hope you'll be careful, pumpkin. God damn it, I love Lily so much. Come with me, Lily. Let it be lovely, dearie. Woo! Alright. It's time for Hus to head just about due south of the Remnant's bunker to the Red Rock Drug Lab. How do we get there from here? Well, allow me to show you. It's quite the journey. Also, I should mention, uh, Lily does have access to ranged attacks. She can use uh, an assault rifle that she carries with her. That being said, she prefers to use Leo. Leo is both the name of the voice and the name of the, the, the chopping blade. Um, they've become one in the same. Um, anyway. Um, I assume that just like her big, giant, muscly arms just make it hard to use a gun like that. Just like, it's too big and unwieldy. You ever try using a human gun when you're like three times their fucking size? It's hard. It's hard. It's like fuckers. It's like trolls from uh, Shadowrun. Like they have to custom order their equipment because they're just too big to use shit. Meanwhile, dwarves on the flip side have to custom order their equipment because they're too small to use shit. Ugh, I love Shadowrun. I'm gonna run a Shadow game soon. Sorry, Shadowrun game soon. Not soon, like, like in a year or soon. It's like soon. Anyway. Where was that, where was that giant pile of Cazadors? Ah, further east. Always to the east. Here's hoping the Cazadors don't claim me. Oh, actually, yeah, the, 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 the Power Fist is super effective against them. Was that the way? No, I don't see the Cazadors. It's around here somewhere. There's a hidden passage. Hmm. I drank a lot of soda. Maybe it's over here, closer to the radio station? That would make sense if they are tracking Great Con movements. Also, this mountain appears to be phasing out of reality a little. Pay no attention to the mountain behind the curtain. Pay extra to attention to all the fucking invisible walls. They're everywhere. Oh, shit. No! Let me go my way up. Go, go, go. Alright, if I had if I had hazard a guess, it's back the way we came. Also, gotta love that dynamic music. Hey, you feel that? The way that it fades out when I leave the camp and fades in when... Yeah. Yeah, it's good shit. Alright. I think it's actually over here. This is where all the Cazadors were, right? Where'd they go? Although I may simply be unable to detect them because Eddie is no longer with me. Ugh, Eddie, my love, I long for the touch of your cold embrace. You ever hug an iBot? It's not, it's not, it's not a good hugger. It has no limbs. It's got nothing. It's got antennae. Immobile antennae. Huh. It appears as if the Cazadors have departed. Not that I'm complaining. I mean, I'm kind of complaining because I want all that sweet, sweet XP. Just, like, spurt it all over my face. Just make it rain all over my sumptuous, supple body. Mmm, supple. The most disturbing of adjectives. 
Anyway. <laughs> Christ. Ugh, don't let me get bored. Don't let me wander the waste. This is what happens. Start getting weird with it. Ready? Stay. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Punch! I Was fucking punch you. It's weird, so I got the... I still have the trait that lowers... Sleeping done. Fighting now. Nice. Was that all? No. Poor Lily. Oh, nope, never mind. She's fine now. Um, right. So, like, on the one hand, I can I can sleep in an owned bed to give you the well-rested trait, which will increase experience gains by 10%, but restoring that 10% feels less good than gaining Starting the additional combat. 10%. Just you know kidding. what I'm saying? Uh -oh. Punch! That's all. Huh. I could have sworn there's a legendary Kazador around here somewhere. Maybe not. Hopefully not, actually. Fuck that thing. I already fought the legendary Bloatfly. I don't want to fight any other legendary creatures if nobody minds. If no one's asking, I'd be perfectly okay with that. Ugh. Kazador nests. They're fucking eyesore. Sneaking done. Fighting now. What are we fighting? What's the fight? Oh look, there he is! He's that guy's dealt with. Oh god, there's more. How are there Sneaking more? Down. Fighting now. Come on. Come on, who wants a piece? Who wants some? Ow. That was a rhetorical question. Cessation of hostilities complete. Leo, dude, some fucked up shit. Oh man, now all I can think of is a. There's a character from Fallout 3 that I never got to meet. He's a random encounter. His name is Uncle Leo. Um, he's a super mutant who shows up and he helps you with whatever Sneaking problem you're down. currently having. Now. Uh oh, fuck. You're a little woozy. Oh, yeah, I'm woozy, alright. Nice. I should eat something before I fucking die. Both in game and in real life. I haven't eaten breakfast yet today and it's like 9 and I woke up at 6. What can I say? I like making videos more than I like living. Anyway, um... Yes, as I was saying, uh, Uncle Leo is a character you can meet. Time to fight. And he's just a weird, wacky super mutant who wants to help people. And, like, he doesn't remember why his name is Uncle Leo. Just that it is. He's, he's, a, he's a fascinating character. If you ever have... And you can also, like, steal his clothes. And he's like, whatever. You could have just asked. I'd have given them to you. He's just a cool dude. Just a cool dude like that. Give me that corn. Here we are. Red Rock Canyon, where the Great Cons live. They're not really bad people, the Great Cons. They're not really good people either. They've got a perverse sense of honor to themselves. Anyway, that'll do for this episode of Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. If you liked what you saw, hit like. If you want to continue the adventure, please hit subscribe. And if you think that what I do is really keen, you can send me a couple bucks monthly on Patreon. And I can use that money to do fantastic, amazing things like make more videos, start streaming, hire an artist to do cool shit, do the coolest thing I could think of. Join the Wasteland's biggest gang. But until then, good night, everyone.